you know, we missed the we missed the biggest topic, didn't we? When talking about university, freshers. What sorry? What if we get your freshers? No, wait, was freshers no. a big topic? Well, it could be, I guess. It's normally a big thing. I don't know what it was at Brighton for you guys. Oh no, I didn't. I don't think we actually. I didn't spend that much time on my freshers. No, freshers. Freshers was okay. You could, uh, but they took you. Uh, we were the Hastings campus, so they. <laughs> You had to take buses to go to Brighton and they come back. Christ, it must have taken a while, didn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Going, I, I do not recommend taking the bus journey to Hastings. It's No, it just sounds awful. Mm, I think it took me like, including the time it took me on train from Worthing, it took me three or two and a half hours around that time to get to Hastings. So you're telling me you had to get a train to Hastings to then get a bus to Brighton? No, 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 no. I took a I took a train to uh from Worthing to Brighton to then take yeah. a to take a bus to Oh, is that what you said? No, no, wait. So did you so you met people in Hastings and then went to Brighton, did you? No, 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 no. What I'm what basically one journey there was a problem with the trains. And what I did yeah. was is we're talking about just going to Hastings. Um okay. I'm talking about like it took me like let's say thirty minutes to get to get to um to get from Worthing to Brighton. And then I needed to go to Hastings from Brighton, but that there was no trains working on that line. So I had to take a bus and it took like two and a half or three hours to get to Hastings. Jesus. Yeah. I think the traffic was particularly bad because there were no trains running that time. I think it was during the strikes, but you know, it was not, it's not an ideal journey. No, I'm still oh, amazed you did that for three years to be fair. <laughs> I'm amazed I did that for three years and like didn't get attacked on the train. Oh, <laughs> the amount of crackheads on those trains as well. <laughs> Probably can't say that, but, but I think Adam oh. can tell you about the time that we almost did get attacked on a train. Is that, yeah, was, is that was... the neo Nazi story? Or? No, that wasn't. That's a different story. This was. That wasn't the bus. This woman oh. just got really angry at us. Yeah, I, I don't understand why either. It, it, she just got very angry and very snarky towards Stan. Yeah, it didn't help that I actually, I was in a, a quite happy mood and I decided to. Oh, did you rib her? Did you rib her, Stan? I did rib her quite a bit, and I think I might have escalated the situation a bit more than needed. What'd you say? What'd you so say? Just been a bit quiet. I can't remember what I said. I remember. I just remember starting to talk about the topic she accused us of talking about, which we weren't. And I said, "What was it? What was I, the topic she kissed you?" I don't know. I it was rambling, Ben. I don't even know what she was really talking about at the time. Oh. Do you? She remember wasn't Adam? really saying it. No, she wasn't really saying anything. It was just a bunch of random nonsense that we were not really talking about. Mm. It, it, it just kind of. I guess maybe you, you did continue. I think you you I continued did. the conversation, but you continued conversation <laughs> as if it was directed at me, but towards her. Sort of thing. Yes. And she picked up on that, and she was not happy. Yeah. It was. A, it was very weird. I was I was trying to understand what was going on. To be honest. Then I had a guy, Adam. We weren't here for this. There was just this guy. He was tall, like he he his head like almost reached the top of the like the train bit, and then train roof. And he was just screaming like "f off, f off." And I was just like, I hope he gets off the train soon. I really do. Oh, I was the only person in the carriage with him, and I was like, mm. Oh, I would have moved carriage if. I... <laughs> no, I was. Yeah. I think I was in the bottom carriage, and the only way to get past him oh, was to. Oh no! It's towards him. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, mm. and he was like, I don't think the train guard can do anything about it because he looked, yeah, he wasn't the tallest yeah. man, and it was like, yeah, I just, I just hope he gets off now, really. <laughs> I remember, um, it's not as bad as that. I remember, um, oh God, I was just sat on the train. It was when I was at uh, Gunchester College, and I was just reading my book. I can't remember exactly what I was reading. Uh, and uh, a really patched train, but there was no one sat in it, sat in front of me. You know, like you have the. F- four seats but like they're facing towards each other aren't they um and some dude who looked i'm gonna say like fred west if you both know who he looks like the uh, serial killer i'm getting google up now yeah okay <laughs> looked identical to fred west and a uh, really long scruffy beard um oh okay yeah uh far cry 5 hat far cry 5 t-shirt and uh he just had quite a and i don't I don't want to be nasty. Yes, you um, do. <laughs> I don't know. Quite a odor. Uh, like he's never bathed. He doesn't even know what soap is. Let's just say that. Mm. 
really just disgusting. <laughs> and um, so I'm reading my book. And normally, if you're reading a book, and I was wearing headphones, but I wasn't listening to anything. It's just a sign of wearing headphones that nobody talked to me. You know, the, yeah. you can all agree. If someone's wearing headphones, you normally just leave them be. Mm. Yeah. So I got the, 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 yeah, the, the, the combo, the book, headphones combo. And uh, he goes, uh, oh, it's raining outside, isn't it? I sort of like looked up. I was like, yeah, yeah. You know, I was like, why, what, what, where's this guy? And so I was trying to like, obviously, like subtle. Well, not even subtly. I was just looking back at my book, trying to ignore him. And he goes, uh, I know how to kill a man. <laughs> uh, okay. And I was like, oh, I was like, this is it. Uh, he, <laughs> this is this is how I go. And uh, I'm like, All right. And he goes, yeah, no, he, no, he didn't know how to kill a man. That was so. He goes, I know. It's like talking about us, like some um, shooting that happened. Mm. Around the time, and like, okay, I can't remember what one. And he goes, I, I know how to disarm a shooter. And I was like, Right, Jesus, you know, I'm like, Oh, God, where's this? And uh, so he, he, he goes, Yeah, you see, and he pulled out his hand, and he's like, You really squeeze the wrist, and like, you put pressure point on the vein. And he's doing it in terms, and he had caused himself quite a bit of harm. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm like, Oh, don't do that, man. I, I get what you mean. Like, please stop. <laughs> Uh, and I'm at this point. I'm looking around at other passengers for, like for help, uh, and obviously everyone was just like head down, like oh god, let's pretend, pretend this is <laughs> like, we're British and we, you know, we we uh, we like to hide away in those moments. Funny and... enough, the reason they were ignoring you was not because of him, but because you were wearing the headphones because of how effective. Exactly, they were. that's why. That's how wrong I was, Danny. That's the critical error I made. Um, and yeah, so he goes, oh, I know disarm something. And he goes, I know to, I know to shoot a gun. And this is where I was like getting a bit nervous. I was like, oh, <laughs> he's gonna pull out a gun and like, this is how you disarm it. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. I thought, oh my god. <laughs> and he, uh, he goes, I've, I was like, right. I was like, I don't know why. I was uh, even, I feel like I'm almost encouraging at this point. I was like, I was like, how, how do you, how do you know how to do that then? And he goes, I played a lot of Far Cry, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> of course you have. And he's doing all the hand signs of how to shoot a gun, but from the animation in Far Cry. Uh, <laughs> And it was like this, and there's a few other weird things he said. Like he goes, he, he was like, "I know how to make trains go faster." It's another one he said. He goes, "I think you should, they should put wheels on the front; they'll go faster." Don't think he's an engineer, uh, or even qualified. But yeah, well, Benny, you just, an engineer? Do you know he's wrong? Technically, certainly. <laughs> oh yeah, you could be. Of are. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't know if electrical engineer and like a train engineer are the same thing, though. No, it's not. No. But uh, just to prove your facetious points, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> I love, yeah. What is it about being on a train and meeting weirdos? That's, I think that's the same reason, like, why you, when you work in a supermarket, you find a lot of people that are, it's because it's, it, that's the place everyone in life has to go to. It's the place you can't escape no matter where you're from. No. You mm. have, to, you have to go there. But I remember that guy though as well, because like, I, he kept. I was stuck in a conversation for about like fifteen minutes. And it was it was really like just the most uncomfortable experience in my life, and especially because he looked just like Fred West. What made it worse? Uh, <laughs> yeah, when you mentioned it, I had to kill a horrific guy. Horrific serial killer. Horrific mm. serial killer. Yeah, and so I'm like, oh Jesus. And um, and by the point on the train, I was like, oh, I'm going to pretend. I was basically I was fully prepared to get off the train, and wait for the next one, making myself late for college just to get out of this situation. <laughs> And I, I was looking to get up, but like you know, the I well, not so much these days with the, the restrictions, but um, you know, Southern Rail Trains used to get like really overbooked, or like overpacked, mm-hmm. where you'd have people in the seats, but then queuing in the aisle in the middle. It was so busy. Yeah. Uh, it was okay. like that, so I couldn't even escape. But we and we then, still uh, remember the time before COVID. I know PC, <laughs> should we call it? PC. That's what I was going to sort of suggest, Sally. That we've gone so we've gone so nostalgic for the past before COVID. We're retelling train stories. The one called it, yeah. How sad. What an yeah, awful part. <laughs> <It's> the... <laughs> awful thing to listen to. Just the I miss the interactions with these people. Yeah, I miss I miss the guy who screamed "f off" and blocked my path of escape. <laughs> I miss the Fred West looking freak. Uh... I miss the it's woman just... that got off at the same time we did. We didn't tell you that. She got off at the same oh. time we did and just disappeared oh, into yes. the night. Her boyfriend oh, wow. was looking her boyfriend was looking for her. She just ran off. Oh, I remember she... you t- yeah. I remember and... you saying this to me before when it happened, I think. 
Okay. Yeah, he just disappeared into the night, and he was like, he just looked around, stunned and confused. He wasn't even that probably bad like, a guy. He was like, he was like, no, he's probably like, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> I don't know what. Yeah, know what happened or like who she assaulted while that happened, but you know, those are the questions that keep me up at night. 